when you look at Newt Gingrich, for 20 years, he's been advocating for the individual mandate in health care. That's, that's longer than Barack Obama. Or if you look at Mitt Romney as the governor of Massachusetts, he's the only governor that put into place socialized medicine. No other governor did. Michelle, you know, a lot of what you say just isn't true, period. I fought against Obamacare at every step of the way. I did it. The Center for Health Transformation was actively opposed. We actively campaigned against it. And Governor Romney sent his team to the White House to meet with President Obama to teach them how to spread the Romney care model across the nation. That's why I say, Newt Romney, you've got to have our nominee as someone who has a stark, distinct difference with President Obama. I know Newt Gingrich. <laughs> And Newt Gingrich is a friend of mine, but he and I are not clones, I promise. Uh, so <laughs> that, is, that is not the case. So this Newt Gingrich thing, we got to get that out of our mind altogether. <laughs> Newt Romney thing, sorry. Um, uh, let, me, let me say this about, about health care. One, I didn't send a team of anybody to meet with Barack Obama. I wish you'd give me a call. I'd have said, Mr. President, you're going down a very, very bad path. Do not continue going down that path, because what you're going to do is you're going to raise taxes on the American people. You're going to cut Medicare. Let's not forget. Only one president has ever cut Medicare for seniors in this country, and it's Barack Obama. We're going to remind him of that time and time again. Because the fact of the matter is, you are for individual mandates. And you can get up and stand up and talk about, you know, I'm against it now and I'm going to uh, 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 rescind Obamacare, I'm going to repeal Obamacare, but the record is very clear. You and Newt were for individual mandates, and that is the problem. And the question has been, who can stand on the stage, look Obama in the eye, and say, Obamacare is an abomination for this country, and I'm going to do that. And I can take that fight to him and win that fight. Governor Romney, a 30 second response. Uh, a good deal of what you said was right, some is wrong. Uh, Speaker Gingrich said that he was for a federal individual mandate. That's something I've always opposed. What we did in our state, was designed by the people in our state for the deeds of our state. You believe in the 10th Amendment? I believe in the 10th Amendment. The people of Massachusetts favor our plan three to one. If they don't like it, they can get rid of it. By the way, the, the problem with President Obama's plan is it does three things we didn't, in my opinion, among others. I understand we disagree on this, but among others. One, it raises taxes by $500 billion. We didn't raise taxes. Two, it cuts Medicare by $500 billion. We didn't do that either. And three, it doesn't just deal with the people that don't have insurance. It's a 2,000-page bill that takes over health care for all the American people. Governor, if we could, I, ask Speaker Gingrich to respond. You know, I, I just want to make one point that's historical. <clears throat> in 1993, in fighting Hillary Care, virtually every conservative saw the mandate as a less dangerous future than what Hillary was trying to do. The, the Heritage Foundation was a major advocate of it. After Hillary Care disappeared, it became more and more obvious that mandates have all sorts of problems built into them. People gradually tried to find other techniques. I frankly was floundering trying to find a way to make sure the people who could afford it were paying their hospital bills while still leaving it out for libertarians to not buy insurance. And that's what we were wrestling with. It's now clear that the mandate, I think, is clearly unconstitutional, but it started as a conservative effort to stop Hillary Care in the 1990s. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm listening to you, Mitt, and I'm hearing you say all the right things, but I read your first book, and it said in there that your mandate in Massachusetts which should be the model for the country. And I know it came out of, of the, the reprint of the book, but, you know, I'm just saying, you were for individual mandates, my friend. You know what? You've raised that before, Rick. And, uh... You're still, it, was, it was true then. No, no. <laughs> it's true now. Rick, I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> 10,000 bucks? $10,000 bet? I'm not in the betting business, oh, but I'll, okay. I'll, I'll okay. show you the, I, I wrote the, I'll, I'll show I wrote, you the book. I, I've got the book. And, uh, and we'll show it. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I wrote the book. And I have it in Chapter 7. There's a section called the Massachusetts Model. And I say, as close as I can quote, I say, in my view, each state should be able to, to fashion their own program for the specific needs of their distinct citizens. And then I go on to talk about the states being the laboratories of democracy, and we could learn from one another. I have not said in that book, first edition or the latest edition, anything about our plan being a national mo model imposed on the nation.